swimmer pulled from the ocean in a harrowing rescue operation off the Venice Pier tonight has died. CBS 2's Erica Nachlin is live in Venice where lifeguards are warning about a dangerous holiday weekend amid this tragedy. Erica? You know, Pat, the hospital just gave us an update that the 28-year-old man has died. L.A. County Fire says he was underwater for about 30 minutes, and a source tells me he was swimming alongside his brother and sister when he went under. Rescue efforts immediately began for the missing swimmer around 6.20 Thursday night with a helicopter, boats, lifeguards, and divers scouring the ocean water. Aerial video from Sky 2 shows it all unfold. Finally, after 30 minutes, a diver found the 28-year-old man. Lifeguards pulled him onto a board, began CPR, and rushed him to shore as witnesses watched and worried. We were all hoping for the best for the man. I just saw him bring him up on the stretcher or the gurney, whatever, and it didn't look good. LA Fire says the man was unconscious and in cardiac arrest, but they didn't give up. Cell phone video captured paramedics loading him into the ambulance. He was one of three people caught in the rip current, but the only one lifeguards couldn't reach right away. It was the third one submerged as lifeguards arrived. Obviously, it's tragic. It's tragic for everybody. Now they warn the rip currents may only get worse in the coming days. This coming weekend, Labor Day weekend, we're due for some bigger surf which means more rip currents, uh, lateral currents. So we really need the public when they come down to the beach to check in with the lifeguards and find out the best place to swim. Well, she says people being rescued out here this summer has happened quite a lot, but someone drowning is very rare. Live in Venice, Erica Knocklin, CBS 2 News.